Welcome to Network Tech Zone, friends. In this video, we will configure RIP, which is nothing but the routing information protocol. And this is one of the oldest distance vector routing protocol, which employs the hop count as a routing metric. And RIP prevents the routing loops by implementing a limit on the number of hops allowed in a path from source to destination. And we know the AD value of RIP is 120. And the maximum hop that is supported by RIP is 15 hop. So with this said, let's go ahead and configure the RIP. I'll take three routers. I'll take 2901 series. And I'll connect it via switch. So here we will be using three different networks. Let's take a PC. And we'll try to connect them. This router is connected to the switch and the switch is connected to a PC. Okay. Similarly, same thing on the router, connected to the switch and turn the switch to the PC. And we will try to use the serial port and I will enable the port here. I'll go to whwic-2t. I'll just drag and drop this here. I think it needs to be powered off. So just power it this off. Okay. If you want to take two ports, yeah, no harm. And I'll do the same thing over here, hwit. HWIC hyphen 2T. So just uh, power this off first. And I'll take two ports. And similarly, I'll do the same thing on this last router. HWIC hyphen 2T. Just connect it after you power it on. And then you, you can power it back on. Just power this back on. Okay. Now I'll take a automatic cable and just connect this. So that was forming a serial cable that is serial zero slash three slash zero. And here I will use the automatic cable. And that has selected zero slash three slash one and here zero slash three slash zero. Okay, so now let's assign the IP address. IP address for this, I will give 10.1.1.0 with slash 24. And, I'll, and for this router, I'll give 10.1.1.1 with slash 24. And here 10.1.1.2 with slash 24. Okay, so for this, we will give um, 172.16.1.0 with slash 24, out of which on this port, we will give 172.60, okay, we'll say 16. 16.1.1 slash 24, and here, IP address we will give 172.16.1.2 with slash 24. Similarly, 192.168.1.0 with slash 24 subnet. And here we will give 192.168.1.0 one dot one with slash 24 and here 192.168.1.2 dot one dot two with slash 24. And here we will take a network 
um, the network we will use here is um, we'll take a different network. So maybe we will use ten dot one dot. Okay, we'll, let's use something like one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot five dot zero with slash twenty four. Okay, out of which we will give one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot five dot one on the router, and for this port one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot five dot two. And over here, I'll give IP address ten dot one dot one dot. Let's give ten dot one dot two dot zero slash twenty four. Okay, so here ten dot one dot two dot one slash twenty four. And here ten dot one dot two dot two with slash twenty four. Okay, so now we are aware of what IP address to be assigned. And the goal of this lab is we are trying to reach between the PC0 to PC1 or again from PC0 to PC2. So we are going to check the connectivity and we will be using RIP, routing information protocol. The commands are very simple. Before that, we will go ahead and enable all these ports, which is shut down at the moment. Let's go with the first router, which is router zero. Okay, and I'll just say no and enable this. So I'll just rename this to make sure that we don't get confused. So configure terminal host name because by default it shows a router on, on every CLI. So I'll just change that host name as a router, router zero, okay? And now uh, let's assign IP address. So interface, we will just take this first uh, over the LAN. So gigabit zero slash zero, zero slash zero, IP address, 10 dot one dot one dot one with slash 24 for the subnet mask, no shirt, okay. And we have another serial port here. So that's going to be interface, interface serial. The port is zero slash three slash zero. So zero slash three slash zero. IP address 192.168.5.1. Okay. And with slash 24 for the subnet mask, no shirt. We will also configure this PC IP address. Okay, so the PC IP address, we will statically assign IP address 10 dot, 1 dot, 1 dot, 2, and with slash 24 for the subnet mask. And the default gateway is 10 dot, 1 dot, 1 dot, 1. So, 10 dot, 1 dot, 1 dot, 1. Okay, so that's all about the PC zero. We will now move to router one. Let, let us rename this. So enable configure terminal, host name, router one. Okay, now we have to assign IP address for one, two, and three ports, right? So let us give the IP address for this serial port here first. Interface serial. Okay, zero slash three slash zero. IP address 192.168.5.2. With slash 255.255. 255.0 for the slash 24 and no shut. Okay, you can see the interface is turning on and we have this port gigabit 0 slash 0 
let's assign IP address for this port. So interface gigabit zero slash zero. And we got IP address is 172.16.1.1. One dot one, right? So you did one dot one and slash twenty four for the submit mask and give no shut. And we have uh, this PC here. So we let's assign this IP address on this PC and the IP address we got is one seventy two dot sixteen dot one dot two and slash twenty four for the subnet mask. Okay. And default gateway is 172.16.1.1, which is this IP address on this port, gigabit zero slash zero. Okay, so we will move to configure this serial zero slash three slash one now. Let's configure the IP address on that port on the router one. So configure terminal interface serial. See what's the port here is zero slash three slash one. So Zero slash three slash one IP address. So what's the IP address that we have? Ten dot one dot two dot one. Ten dot one dot two dot one. Two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. No shit. And we also need to go ahead and turn this interface on on the other side. So let's go with the router two and rename this as a router two. I'll just say no. Enable configure terminal host name router two. Okay. And let's select the four tier serial zero slash three slash zero. So interface. Serial zero slash three slash zero. IP address ten dot one dot two dot two with slash twenty four for the separate mask and no shirt. Now we got these interfaces are on. We also need to turn this interface on with assigning IP address. So gigabit zero slash zero. Configure terminal. Interface gigabit zero slash zero. IP address 192.168.1.1. Uh, one slash 24 for the submit mask and no shit the interface status is turned up now we will assign ip address on this pc2 on the pc2 the ip address is 192.168.1.2 and the default gateway is 192.168.1.1. So at the moment we have configured the IP address and now we will go ahead and try to see if you're able to reach between the routers successfully. So from the router R0, I'll try to ping 192.168.5.2. See, let's see if that works. Between 192.168.5.2. There is reachability between the routers. And on the router one to, sorry, router one to router two, let's check being. 10.1.2.2, there is reachability. 
Okay, but if you want to pay from basis zero to uh, say 192, 168, let's say if that works, you will see packets are going to get dropped. Well, let's see, we will ping this last PC, that is PC2, 192.168.1.2. You will see the error message which says destination host is unreachable. That's because we have not configured the routing protocol. So if you have to configure the routing protocol, or if you want to see if there is any routing protocol already in place, you can just say show IP route, and you can see you just have um, directly connected routes and then logically connected networks, but you do not have any other routing protocols. Let's go ahead and configure RIP. I'll go to the router. The command is very simple. Configure terminal, router RIP. I'll use version two. And directly connected network, I have two directly connected network here. So I'll just take the first one here, 10.1.1.0. And one more network we have is 192.168.5.0. So we got two directly connected networks and we will give the command no order summary. And similarly, we will go to the router one and configure RIP. So here we got three directly connected uh, networks, the 192 series, 172 series, and 10 series. So let's configure the three networks. So router RIP would Version two, network, we got uh, 192.168.5.0 network, which is this one here. And let's go with this 172 network now. So network 172.16.1.0. And we have one more network here, which is 10.1.2.0. Network 10.1.2.0. And we will give the command no auto summary. So that's the configuration we have completed on the router one. So let's move to this router two. On the router two, the directly connected networks are 10 series and 192 series. So let's go with the configure terminal and router. RIP version two network ten dot one dot two dot zero network one eighty two dot one sixty eight dot one dot zero. No auto summary. So we got RIP configured on all these three routers at the moment. If you want to check the kind of commands, you can say show run. And you can see the configuration that you have done. This is the configuration. It's taking the default uh, plus. In here, show run. You can see a running configuration or whatever you have configured for RIP. And same with this show run. There you go. With no auto summary. Okay, now we will try to ping from PC0 to PC1, see if you're able to reach. 
the last time we had error, I'll, I'll use the same command. You're getting reply. So from the PC zero, we are pinging PC two, which is present on the router three. So that's reachable. So from PC zero, let's ping PC one and see if that works. One seventy two dot sixteen dot one dot two. Yeah, so that's working. And if you want to check from PC2 to PC1, that will still work. You can reach any of this PC from the last uh, PC2. So I'll try to reach uh, PC0. Let's see if that's reachable. Ping 10.1.1.1. That's reachable as well. And we'll try to reach this PC. Being 172.16.1.2, that's working. Okay, so that's all about the configuration of RIP. I hope that this video has been informative to you all. See you in the, in the next video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.